Hello, hello, and welcome back to the weekly vlog. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. So, we are starting off today actually quite productive. I got up a little bit earlier. I did my makeup before... I think it was before 10 or before 11. Like, I, I'm, this is good for me. I know that, like, this is normal for regular people, but for me, I've been getting a little bit lazy recently, so I'm trying to, like, you know, get back into a good routine. So, this morning I filmed a reel... Well, it's not actually well a reel or a tiktok i'm not sure I, it depends it depends if i actually look nice in it so it was a makeup tutorial using misguided beauty which is what i'm wearing now um one thing i absolutely love is the mascara like i feel like it's made my lashes look so long it is incredible and to be fair like i love misguided clothing i'm actually about to film a misguided haul so it's a very misguided morning today um but I didn't have like, you know, the most high expectations for the line. But some of the products have really, really wowed me. I mean, I hate the brow pen. I feel like that's made my brows look so dark. But maybe I'm just not used to having brows like this. Because to be honest, this matches the colour of my natural roots. So I can't really complain because I guess it is the right colour. I just, I, I'm not sure. But I love the lip gloss. I mean, look how shiny that is. And it's not like... It's not too sticky. It's not one of those glosses where, you know, if you go outside and there's a gust of wind and your hair just, like, sticks to your gloss, it doesn't really feel like that. It's kind of just, like, a really nice... I don't know the way to describe it. It's just, like, a really nice-feeling gloss. Um, so, I've actually got some lunch in the oven, which is some, like, little chicken katsu finger things. I'll show you what they are, but I thought I'd start the vlog here whilst I've got the filming lights and it all looks pretty and it's all gonna go downhill from here okay so these are the little chicken fingers they actually taste really good but what i'm thinking of doing because we've got one tortilla left is making like a little wrap i don't know how it's going to taste they've got like this katsu mayonnaise so i might just pop a little bit of that on here just the chicken it's a bit plain and boring but i like it like that i'm quite a fussy person so please don't judge me I've had to take my HelloFresh box upstairs because my mum is crashing around in the kitchen and the audio was also really bad. So I thought I'd show you what I picked up. Um, so this I had, I think maybe in my first box or my second box. It's delicious. Like, it's just such a gorgeous pasta. Really nice and rich. And then, what's this? Speedy, creamy, chorizo and sweet corn pasta. This sounds unreal and you can do it in 20 minutes, which is amazing. And then what's this one? Oh, sweet and sour style chicken with bulgur wheat. Okay, that'd be quite nice actually. I feel like that's quite a healthy little dish. Oh, calorie smart, there we go. And that's gonna take about half an hour. Lovely. So as always, we have the bags that match the recipes. I really hope that there's all the right stuff because last time I was missing my chipotle paste from like the chipotle dish. Um, so I couldn't actually make it, which is a little bit annoying, but yeah, I'm gonna just check that I've got everything because I really don't want that to happen again. And then we've got all like the colder stuff in here. But I'm really excited. I actually really enjoy HelloFresh and I know I do it every other week, but I'm kind of thinking now that I might start doing it every week just because I I feel quite like, <laughs> I feel really proud of myself once I've made a dish. I'm like, oh, I've spent time making that and it actually tastes good. So yeah, I might start getting it every week, but it's quite expensive. Well, it's not that expensive to be fair, but yeah, I just think it's lovely. And I will probably make, I'll make something tonight and I can show you guys. Oh my gosh, I feel like there's no saving these lockdown routes anymore. It's literally so tragic. Um, so it's about six o'clock now. I've done all my filming today. I'm not too sure if I'm happy with the reels, but um, I haven't edited them. I've just like done the filming, but I did one for beauty and I just don't think it's very good. So I might not post it. Um, but what I'm gonna do now is cook one of my HelloFresh dishes. I think I'm gonna do the chorizo, chorizo, however you say it, because that's a quick and easy one. Um, so yeah, I'm probably gonna do that one. Um, I'll bring you along for it. I know that when I cook in my kitchen, I normally just chat for ages, so I'll just show you like a quick version of what I do. Um, because I'm not Gordon Ramsay, I'm not Nigella Lawson, and sometimes in my vlogs I think I am. So we're gonna keep it short and sweet, and hopefully it will look and taste nice. Yeah, I just realised that I actually made the pasta and forgot to film any of it. It's because I was voice noting my friends and I was making it, but this is what it looks like. It smells unreal and it was so easy to make probably the easiest one that i've ever made and i can't wait to eat it i'm not gonna lie to you guys i think i'm about to spend a load of money on a new laptop because this 
is stressing me out. Like, oh, I have to turn the sound off because I don't want to get copyrighted. But look at how, like, frozen these clips are. Do you see that? And I've tried everything I can to fix it and it's just not working. Like, my laptop's, I think it's like five years old, so it's had a good run, but oh, I think I'm gonna have to invest. God. A lot has changed since I spoke to you in the last clip. Um, I'm, I'm 1,500, or oh, 1,400 pound down because I bought a laptop. I honestly was like getting to the point where I was gonna cry. Like the amount of times that Premiere Pro on this laptop has nearly brought me to tears. Well, it has brought me to tears actually. I'm not gonna lie, like I've definitely cried about it. I just think, you know what? No, I've had this for five years. Like it's had a really good run. I'm gonna trade it in with Apple. So I actually got some money off. I got, I think it was 350 pounds off. So actually, when it, when I said I spent £1,400, I did, but I think you get the money back, which then makes the laptop cheaper than the bloody iPhone. I couldn't believe it. It was just under £1,000. Um, and this is for the MacBook Pro. It's coming on Thursday, so I will feature it in the vlog, which I actually am really excited for. I just hope that it's going to sort out the issue. If it doesn't, I'm actually going to be sending in a complaint to Apple or to Adobe because it's just... It's not, it's not acceptable. Um, so my poor editor is gonna have to now edit the things that I filmed today. When I literally said to him, you won't have to edit anything like that again. Oops. But um, hopefully that'll be the last few things and then I'll be able to do them myself. Um, okay, so yeah, I thought I'd give you the update. I'm gonna have a shower, I think, and head to sleep soon. I'm really enjoying going to bed earlier and waking up earlier. I just feel a lot more put together, but I do feel quite tired at the moment. It's nearly 10 o'clock, so it's quite late. Actually, it's just a bit of a weird time to have a shower. Maybe I'll have a shower in the morning, actually. That's what I'll do, but I will see you guys tomorrow. Hello, hello. It is Wednesday today. I'm starting this vlog a little bit later in the day because I feel like... There's been a lot going on. I thought today was going to be a little bit more of a quiet one because yesterday was busy. But I just think today is the day of admin and doing stuff. Um, I've actually, do you remember last week I had this like massive long thing to do from the accountant. I've just had another one of them come through. So I need to do that this afternoon, which I'm dreading. Um, but I thought I'd pop on here, just show my face. I'm having a very relaxed day today. I've whacked my hair up in um, a clip. I've actually tried. Can you see that? Oh yeah, I think you can. Um, oh my god, you can see me in the mirror. That claw clip trick thing, which is on TikTok. Um, I think they call it like a French twist. I love it. Now that I can do it, I do it all the time. And I like, I'm like, Mum, Hannah, look what I can do. It actually feels really comfortable as well. It looks very chic. Um, and I've also got this little set on. I can't remember if I was wearing this yesterday. Um, it's from Misguided. It's just so cosy. I love it. And actually, speaking of Misguided, I need to get my um, haul all together because that's going live this evening my gosh i feel like i just have so much going on but it's, oh, maybe i don't maybe i'm just being dramatic um so yeah i need to sort all of that out now which is fun so once i've done a few little bits and i feel like my life is more together i will come back on camera and give you an update but i honestly the breakdown is like it's this close to happening so i'm just gonna keep smiling keep pl plodding along smile and wave and that's how i'm gonna get through today you guys will be pleased to know that I've actually calmed down quite a lot now. I managed to get everything done. It's about 7pm. It's 3 minutes to 7. My video is going live at 7.01 or 02. I always try and do it like a little bit later so that like everyone else's videos can go out at 7 and I can go out a little bit later and be at the top of subscription boxes. You know, thinking ahead. Um, so I'm going to go downstairs after this is live, so I'll go down the stairs in like five minutes. And I'm gonna make another HelloFresh dish. I'm gonna do the sweet and sour one with like the bulgur wheat. It's apparently really healthy, and I think it'd be quite easy to make as well, I'm hoping, because I'm actually calling one of my friends at eight, so I need to make sure I've like made it, cleared up, eaten it all in the space of an hour. Um, also, I don't think I said yesterday, maybe I did, that I made it way too salty. So I've got to control myself on the salt today. I don't know what I did. I literally must have just like been putting it in and not even really clocking. I, I, I don't know, because I'm not normally one to over season. So yeah, the plan is to try and not do that today. So uh, yeah, let's go. So I was going to show you how I make this, but dad has got the winter sports. I don't know if it's winter Olympics or winter sports playing and it's very, very important. So what I will do, oh, 
Oscar spoons in the pan. What I will do is um, show you the final result. This is how it's meant to look, except I'm not putting peppers or spring onions. So um, we shall see how close I can get it to this photo. I tell you what, if I was given this in a restaurant, I would not be mad about it. I think I've made that look really nice. I'm actually quite impressed. I hope it tastes nice. It does smell unreal, but I feel like this is my most successful presentation so far. Love that. That food was actually unreal. So I'm treating myself now with a little dessert from Claudie and Finn. This is a kid's ice lolly. Like I know for a fact it is, but it tastes unreal. And because it's frozen yogurt, I think it's quite healthy and it's boosted with vitamin D. So there we go, Hans. Well, hello and good morning from my new laptop and from my old laptop. I was gonna do an unboxing, but I'm not gonna lie, I actually forgot I was vlogging. Um, so I'm sorry that you're seeing it like this, but to be honest, I feel like we all know what an Apple box looks like, whether it's a Mac or a phone or, you know. So right now, I'm trying to download all the Adobe software because I'm not going to lie, the main reason why I got this laptop was because this baby literally could not cope with any video content. So I need to try and see if I can actually get this up and running. I think it's going to take a while to download everything. Oh, okay, amazing. So I have not done this since uni, like downloading, downloading, I can't talk today, downloading Adobe software. So... Um, right, what ones do I want to do? What are the most important? Premiere Pro, for sure. Um, yes, I don't know what that means, but yes, okay. Uh, Photoshop, I feel like that's important. And Lightroom. And they're probably the main ones that I need, but it's just been such a long time since I've done any of this, so I'm surprised I've actually remembered. Um, but I also somehow need to take all of this stuff and put it onto this laptop. But I think this one's actually too old. They have like an automatic way of doing it. But I genuinely think this laptop is too old to do it. So I've just been like transferring all my files from here onto here. And hoping that it will work. But I'm sure I'll forget something. And then I'll, it will come to like one day when I really need a file. And I'll be like, oh god, I've got rid of it. So hopefully that doesn't happen. But I mean, it's a really cute laptop. It's so much smaller than the other one. Let me show you the sizes together. Like, can you see? The screen is a lot smaller, but I'm I'm not too mad about that, to be honest. Like, this screen is great for watching TV programs, watching, like, Drag Race, you know? Um, but this is just a bit easier for me, and, like, when I go away on holiday and stuff, I always take this laptop, and it literally takes up so much weight allowance, whereas this is really light. So, hopefully, this will be the right decision to get the 13-inch... Is it 13 inch or 11? Oh, I don't know. But anyway, I'll, I'll download all this stuff and then I'll come back to you guys later today. I don't know why I told myself I was gonna have a day of getting glam today and getting myself together because that is not the case. Tomorrow, I promise you, will be the day, but unfortunately you're gonna have to see me like this again. Wow. I've got this really cute little sweatshirt on from the Misguided and Sarah Ashcroft collection. I can't remember if I showed you this the other day. I might have done, but... It's just so cosy, I was like, I'm gonna wear it again because it's unreal. Um, right, what do I need? I'm gonna take my new laptop to do some work and I'm also gonna make a HelloFresh meal, the last one. This is my favorite. I think I made it, when was it? I think it must have been about two or three weeks ago and it's the penne ragu and it just tastes delicious. It's a massive, massive meal and it's just like really filling and lovely. But, I mean, it's quite a big portion. I'm just trying to think, like, what else I can make, to be honest. Because uh, I just don't know. There's not really a huge amount in my house. So, if I don't make that, I'll let you know what I make. But, yeah, I'm, I'm not really too sure at the moment. So, I decided to make, and I'm sorry, I've taken a bite out of it already. A bagel. Thank you, Dad. A bagel with Philadelphia and some buttermilk chicken. You do that on purpose? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Dad's making some tea, got my bagel. What time is it? Oh, gosh, it's actually quite late in the afternoon. I need to get my life together. Yeah, but I don't think I've done much. That's the only thing. I've done a bit. Yeah, I have. Hmm. Can you actually bloody believe it? I'm doing something with my day. I'm going on a walk. 
I've, um, I'm actually meeting Liam. Hi boys. Hello. No. One day you will like me. I'm actually doing something productive with my day. I'm meeting Liam. He's my editor. I'm sure you'll know him. Is he excited or is he scared? Oh, bless him. So we've got Oscar, who is the darker brown one, and Travis, who is the lighter brown. And they're very, very cute. Oh, lovely. Thank you for that. Thanks for that, hun. Yeah, so I've taken us on probably the most muddy possible walk we could go on. The dogs have gone in the water, in the mud. Liam's nearly fallen over and broken his toe again. So it's going really well. Like, let me just show you for reference how muddy it is. Oh, it doesn't want to focus. There we go. Like, look at that. And I'm wearing a white scarf. That was a really bad outfit choice. And this ridiculously long coat. But, um, yeah, hopefully it will de-mud in a bit. I hope so anyway, because I literally have almost fallen over. Oh my God, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's literally just started absolutely pissing it down. Oh my God, the back of my seat. Can you see that? That is dreadful. I feel like every time I go on a walk with Liam, it always rains. It was so sunny earlier, like to the point where I put on SPF, which to be fair, you should put on every time you go out the house. I even bought sunglasses. That is so tragic, honestly. Wow. Um, okay, I'm gonna move this coat because that's actually soaking. Also, my advice would be don't wear a coat as long as mine to a dog walk because it was way too muddy. So, oh God, Liam's gone off before me. Wow. Okay, let's move that. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with the rest of the day because I do feel kind of, I feel like I've not really done much. Actually, how many steps did I do? Oh, I hope I hope that I've done for like 5,000 at least. No, 4,723. But that's so bad. That's absolutely terrible. Okay, well, to be fair, I can't do any more steps because it is raining. So I'm gonna head home now. How many dry lash? Rub that in. Head home now and probably just cozy up in my room. I need to transfer some more files actually from my old laptop to my new laptop. It is hailing. It's actually like little baby hail. I just, I hate the UK weather. I absolutely hate it. It literally just makes me depressed. Um, okay, right, let's stop moaning. First world problems. And I'll see you when I get home. So I thought I'd show you what dad's doing for dinner, which is the teriyaki stir fry from Joe Wick's books. It's nice and healthy. My dad's really good at cooking Asian food, like Asian inspired food, it's delicious. So, I don't know what he's done so far. We've got chicken in there, we've got some spring onions. What Gin else have we got? Ginger, ginger. garlic, uh, obviously chicken, spring onions. We've got uh, some honey to add, it's frying in avocado oil. Nice and healthy. Light soy sauce has yet to come in, we have some pak choy. We have some baby spinach. Oh, gross. Noodles. And then we will top it all off with some nice fresh chili. Delicious. I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done, but it smells unreal. It's supposed to look like that. It's supposed to look... Okay, okay. We will see. We will see. So this is the final product. It doesn't look like your typical teriyaki dish, but Dad said that's because it's made with light soy sauce. But there you go. The time has come for Drag Race UK episode six. So I'm gonna watch that now and I will see you guys in the morning. I'm going on a walk with Ella in the morning tomorrow, which is gonna be good, get those steps in. And then I'm filming all of tomorrow afternoon. So it's gonna be a bit of a busy one. I don't know how much I'll film. Hopefully I'll film a bit because I feel like this vlog's gonna be quite short because not really done much, but um, I'll see what I can do for you guys. But. How nice is that dress that RuPaul is wearing? I'm actually obsessed. Stunning. Love it. Also, Michelle Visage, icon. Hello, hello. Happy Friday. Joined with Els, and we're going on our standard walk that we do because we've got <laughs> nothing else to do with our lives. But apparently today we're going to see some donkeys. It's going to be disappointing yeah. not there. Yeah, I don't really know where we're going, but it's very exciting because I quite like donkeys. I think Swing they're really cute. Farm. Oh, we'll go into a farm. Swain's farm, yeah. Love that, love that for us. Um, so yeah, we've got ourselves our hot chocolates to go, as per, honestly, these are the best ever, Hemfield Post House Cafe represent. 
<laughs> I honestly hate myself. Right, let's go find some donkeys. Can't find any donkeys, but we have spotted a goat. Ella said if I was a goat, that'd be me. It's a pretty gorgeous goat, so I'll take it, actually. Hey, that is a pretty goat. But yeah, I think that's the only animal in let's the farm. Look. Yeah, let's go have a look. Another animal on Animal Spot. Gorgeous grey pony. Sorry about the wind noise, by the way. You're so pretty. We've um, come on a new walk, actually, if you can hear me. Exciting. We found some more animals. This time we got some sheep who are really nosy. Oh, oh god, okay, car. They're gonna be like, why is this girl filming the sheep? I don't know why I said filming, so weird then. Cuties, hey cuties. Literally living the dream. There's so many. Have they got turnips in this field? I think they do actually. Henfield has a lot of turnips actually. Hi babes. Hey babies. They hate us. Guys, I've made a friend. A little gorgeous friend. These horses are so friendly. Such cutie. Hi Debbie. Come to us, little Shetland. Come on, Shetland. Shetland. Oh, oh bye. He's making a oh move. He's coming. Come on, big boy. Come on. Yes. Hi, so close. Oh Oh my goodness, you're so cute. <laughs> Look at you. It is a whole lot later in the day now. Um, it's actually, what is the time? Nearly, nearly half past nine. Oh, actually no, it's nearly quarter past nine. So it's probably been like the best part of six, six hours? No, oh my God, longer. Like nine hours since I last vlogged. But I've just been busy. It took me ages to do my makeup today. I don't know why, because I mean, it's no better than what it usually is. I actually think I've done my eyebrows way too big. Um, but I digress. So what have I done today? I filmed an ASOS haul, which took me ages. I don't know why I buy like 18 items at a time because these hauls are just getting like half an hour long. They're as long as the vlog now, it's actually a joke. Um, I feel like that's all the news that I have. If I do anything else, oh, Tommy's on FaceTime. So that's that's him, that's just reminded. So yeah, that is basically all I've done today. Should I give you a flower update? Just because, I don't think I showed you my flowers for Valentine's Day. So these are from a lady who um, lives near my house and she does really gorgeous flowers. And then these are from Love Flowers. I think I put these on the vlog last week. I don't think I put these up there. Um, I also have some flowers over there from Tommy. I feel like flowers make me really happy. So I think maybe like every two weeks now, I'm gonna get some flowers just to kind of like boost the mood a little bit. I was, I don't know if it's coming now, but um, there was a PR agency that's got a launch. I think it's with QVC. And part of that was like um, sending over some dried flowers. So I'm saving this vase here for that. But I think they're meant to come this week. So maybe they're, maybe they're not sending them to me anymore, which is fine. I probably should just get my own flowers. Um, obviously, I'm so grateful for everything that I get anyway. So, you know, it's not that big of a deal. But I do need to get some dried flowers or like pampas grass. I feel like... Pampas grass is probably going to be more of the vibe, but I just, it's one of those things where, you know when it's in fashion for like a year and then it just kind of goes, so I don't know if it's going to be one of those, um, and whether like dried flowers are the new vibe. What was that? Yeah, I agree. You agree what? I've had to turn him down because he was just chatting absolute bollocks. What? Yeah, not really a vibe. I'm not sure in the months. Oh, God, he's, do you see this? Do you see this? Commentary, Tommy. We love it really, we really do. As much as I moan. So I'm just gonna turn my hand. Oh God, when I hold my vlog camera, I actually get like achy arm. So yeah, I'm really sorry. I feel like this vlog has been rubbish. I feel like all it's been is me just talking and then a bit of cooking and that's literally it. 
like how tragic but i am going to end it here i'm so sorry last week's vlog was a lot more interesting at least you saw my new laptop i feel like that was the only interesting thing that happened this week so yeah apologies for that but thank you so much for watching if you got to this point and i'll see you in the next one